Hello yeah, there. Kyle Katarn here. I'm the Bendu. Coming back for another reaction to The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 12. Shout out to Nerd Chronic for editing this reaction for us and sneaking it past the Disney blockade. So the last two episodes that we got were like straight back-to-back -back downers, man. First, we had to see a bunch of kids getting abused. And then the Marauder got blown up. Gonky had a near-death experience, which I'm still not fully over. Um, and Omega got fucking kidnapped again. Like, she had to give herself up in order to, like, spare yeah. the rest of Pabu. And honestly, yeah. that was a goddamn gamble because you know the Empire. You know how they are. There was no guarantee whatsoever that they weren't just going to keep, belt, like, base Delta Zero the whole island as soon as they had her anyway. So, we got lucky there. That's true. We still, we also still don't know who the operative is. Uh, Ventress did make her quick cameo, of which you know she could come, like she could show up again later. Same with Fennec Shand. I don't know if we'll see. Actually, her. any of the bounty hunters. Fennec Shand, sure. Cad Bane, yeah. sure. I don't know about Ventress though. I think we had the one and done with her. It was the one and done? Yeah, like that's that's what I think. Yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard to say because we have theoretically four more episodes left within this final yes. season. And there's still a lot of clone-centric stuff that really does need to happen. And they don't have too much space or room for, like, much filler episodes. A ton of stuff they still don't right? know the address. They still don't know where the fuck Tantus even is. So, and the fact that Crosshair... I know, we, we got so close in that last God. episode. If only yeah. Crosshair had made the shot and got the tracker on the goddamn thing. And there were people in the comments in the last reaction trying to be like, Crosshair didn't miss, okay? The ship moved and, like, the trajectory and whatever. It's like... They had a whole scene about this in the last episode where Crosshair explained straight to the camera, like, if it doesn't Either hit the target, or you don't. Like, it's a miss. It. There's yeah. no close. There's no near. Like, And it was foreshadowing in the worst possible way, because here we go. Yeah. yeah, man. And he probably would have made that shot, too. He did get interrupted by, like, Imperials right before he was going to take the shot. But a miss is a miss. You know, he missed the shot. So, yeah, well, we have four episodes that they still need to find out where Tantus even is. So there's there's some stuff to do. There's some stuff to I'm do. I'm thinking Omega's going to come in clutch. I think she's going to get a broadcast out from Tantus and just like just throw caution to the wind, like broadcast the position. Hopefully Rex, Echo, and everyone will find it, and and then we can get our rebellion going because we got to rescue not only the clones that are trapped in here, but we got to rescue these poor force sensitive children, man. Yeah. Huh? Like you were saying, there's so much clone stuff that we still got to tie up. We've only got a couple episodes, and then. Just a few short years later, there's like virtually no clone presence in the galaxy whatsoever. And that is kind of terrifying when you put two and two together. Like, is this going to be one of those where we're going to get a Rogue One ending? You know what I mean? Is this going to be like a dark ass closer for the season? Because the, the Clone Rebellion can only be so successful, right? Unless unless we decide to like, they go off and they live on Lyrason happily ever after or something like that. There's a reason we don't see them anymore, but I'm getting nervous, man. Yeah. Getting nervous the closer we get to the end. Like, absolute worst case scenario, like, there was Order 66. Like, worst case scenario, there could be, like, some Order 96 where some other tip <laughs> in their head goes off and they all just die. But Order 67, really just kill all the clones. Yeah, exactly. But I don't this think the time it's the TK really troopers getting activated. Yeah. Man. Awesome. Well, the episode is out. It is time. Are you ready, best friend? Do it. God, the Ooh, dagger. Tantus. It's such a sexy ship, dude. It's such a sexy ship. Yeah, there's just something about those red triangles in the back that's just like, uh. They look like, uh, like aftermarket brake lights. Like he's tricked it out. I love the lighting here. It's a gorgeous shot. Oh, the rain. Just the ambient glow from the engines and then the rain falling. Fucking hemlock, dude. He's just like, do you know how much fucking time you just wasted? I know, he's so frustrated with her. I love how he walks. He's always shoulders first. It makes me think of Dennis from It's Always Sunny when he's like, even though I seem incredibly relaxed, I'm super tense at all times. Where's Nalise? In a cell. Yeah, there's been a lot of changes since you were here last, Omega. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Come on, Emery. She gave Eva the doll, and that's 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 her development. Like eventually, Omega will get through to her, but she's finally in the right place to hear it. You know. Yeah. See, you God. can't give her an answer. 
You can't give her a straight am I safe answer. Bro, they could base Delta at any point. Any point. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm afraid of. They're recalling all their personnel, which means they're either leaving or they're about to level this place. They're still jamming them, though. I still can't believe you let Omega turn herself in. The Empire would have destroyed this whole town. There's someone who might have the coordinates. Who? Admiral Rampart. Who? Wait, what? But where's Rampart? Isn't he, like, in custody now? Oh. Do not shoot! I second that. Nice. How did you get in here unseen? Use the hidden cavern access when I docked my ship. And they didn't scan you when you approached it? You must be Crosshair. Tech told me all about your... Oh yeah, they've never met. ...personality. <laughs> Any friend of Brown Eyes is a friend of mine. Mm. Well, oh, R.I.P. Brown Eyes. It's starting to sink in that he might actually be dead. I think it's finally starting to hit me. Damn. <laughs> Imperial labor camp, bro. Like, we're just Turn it up. It straight out. Fucking T6 bro, turbo just tank. Just like, bro, let's go. One. God damn. You were just talking. I'm the juggernaut, about, bitch. You were just talking about Rogue One vibes before we started recording, also. Yeah, dude. Clone Wars, Rogue One, and one of the best episodes of The Mandalorian, too. My god, look at those ginormous like, sand. Oh, colors. this is. This is a cool environment. Wait! Holy shit! Dude, they're wearing the Imperial Tech helmets from Jedi Outcast. Don't you order me around. You're the one slowing us down. Is that him? Dude, they gave him like the like the Commodore Norrington treatment. They made him all scruffy. Oh, 100%. Think you can get us close enough to the perimeter undetected? I know I can. Give us a real challenge. Once we hit the ground, we have to tap into the prison data bank and- Oh shit, that's part from the teaser. V, when we acquire the target, we'll calm you for a pickup. Six. So this is gonna be a prison break mess around? Fuck yeah, man. I was hoping it would be like an adventure of the week type deal. Uh, if we get any closer to those ships, we'll show up on their sensors. No, we won't. Remember that trick I mentioned? V? Oh, relax. I'd expect you to know a stealth approach when you see it. Oh, sick. Do you, she, she just like gained a bunch of momentum and then off. cut the engines? She's just like glide, a controlled glide? She's just free fall. She's just, that's. Those are the same fr uh, cargo freighter ships that uh, Chopper stowed away on. Remember when they found the giant crystal? She just, she just turns the engines off. She just killed. The that's engine. so sick. <laughs> that would there used to be a really steep uh, stretch of road where I used to live, and I would like cut the engine in the Camaro and turn the lights off so the traffic camera wouldn't see me every time I rolled die. It was just like that. Bro, that's something <laughs> makes someone vomit. Just like that gravity drop. Yes. Hidden in the mist. I love the I love just like the brutalist concrete ass feel of this prison too. Hopefully next assignment we'll see some action. Jinxed it. <laughs> what do you think the little guy is? You think he's an Ugnaught? Maybe a Chadra fan? Supposed to be over by now. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, God. I can't unsee I the Commodore Norrington face now. You just like <laughs> I don't want to see you ruined that for me, but like I can't unsee it. I mean, the beard is an improvement, as usual. Our best shot at grabbing Rampart is to intercept them when they're en route from the mine. Yeah, now you're talking. We can't hit it head on. They'll see us coming. Not if we're under. I love seeing them all working together. I know, right? It's like the band's back together. Get into position. I'll secure the controls. You two handle Rampart. Yeah, it's weird. It's the Bad Batch, and they're back together, and they're trying to get Rampart out of prison, of all people. Let's go. Fuck yes. I just noticed all the, uh, like, the like the rainbow oil-looking stuff. You're the oil like, slick water? Like yeah. Super, super toxic on this planet. <laughs> Man, it's gotta suck to not be able to see past, like, here in your helmet. No periphery. 
Boom. That's right, because it's magnetically sealed. So just trick shots all the way. That's that's cool. The target's secured. Are you here to kill me? Tempting. But now. Yeah. What about them? Yeah, you really, you really gave him a fighting chance. <laughs> Tanta space, where is it? Ah, Tantus. This smug motherfucker. I'll talk after you get me off this planet. You don't get what you want if I don't get what I want. No, that's acceptable. They can get him off the planet, get the intel, and then screw him over in some other way, you know? Mm -hmm. Bring up the gunship, seal off the bridge, and reroute Transport 2 to intercept. Ah, shit. Is that Steve Blum? Kind of sounds like him. Hunter, the ceiling off the bridge. Oh, shit! Woo! Fuck your barriers! That's why they call it a turbo tank, baby! Oh my god, yes. Oh god. They're just gonna play chicken? Woo! Jesus! <laughs> They're just playing chicken. They got whistling birds, they got a minigun! Take out the wheels! Ooh! Hold on. He's gonna jump it! Yes! <laughs> That's funny. That's wow. Wow, okay. Nice, nice. Crosshair was so ready for him. I am I am super not interested in Rampart having a redemption arc, by the way. Oh, the turbo tank, bro. Whoo, God! This is a great, this is like a great action set piece, actually. And now we're being chased by LAATs, let's go. Yeah, there's no way you could broadcast a fee from here. I'm sure they jam around the prison. Dope. No stunning those guys. Oh, what? They just like drop down? I just see plot armor on that one, but damn. I've never seen the TK troopers do anything that cool before. This is pretty. Uh, this yeah, is shake them off. This is exciting. <laughs> this is an Indiana Jones logic right here. Oh, that was brutal. Usually, you like, usually that's a close call. They actually like crushed them all the way. Zephy? Yes! Exactly a stealth exit, boys. <laughs> the way he pulled Rampart out of the- They just throw <laughs> like a fish? Come on, Wrecker! Dude, Wrecker's never been good with jumps. Oh! Wrecker's never been good with jumping. I mean, he's, he's so much heavier than the other ones. He is very heavy. All right, well, All right. wake up, Rampart. Got a lot of torturing to do. I was going to say, threaten to cut off his ear. No cut off one his nose. knows the coordinates to Tantus. It was designed that, that way. Tell us now, or we drop you back in that Imperial prison. Now, now, no need for threats. So, like, when the Imperial cargo pilots and everything drop into Tantus, does the Navi computer just say, like, classified? Doesn't even tell them what coordinates they're at? Like, how could, how could they not even know where they're going to and from if they're the couriers, you know? Plot twist. Tantus is on a lion turtle. It's always moving. Dude, what if Emery hides the test results? What if she fudges it just like Nala Say has been doing because she's had her change of heart? Dr. Carr, what are Omega's results? Her blood sample yielded a favorable M-count replication. There it is. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Are you gonna put her in the vault? Is this some fucked up twisted way of like, yeah, no, let me come show you what we're working on. Shove. He's he's showing her so that we the audience can finally get the in-depth answers. Who are they? They are the rest of the puzzle. And this They're the M counts. Your new and you're the genetic material that can that can be receptive to it. Damn. 
I knew it. No, no, that was Hemlock's fatal mistake right there. Putting her in a room with them. No. She has she has the ability to inspire others, learn and show empathy, and they have force sensitivity. You put that together, like they're busting out of here. That's my new prediction. The Bad Batch is going to fight their way in to rescue her, and she's going to be fighting her way out at the same moment. They're going to, like, meet each other in the hallway mid-rescue. Like, that's... She's fully slipping her bonds before they actually get to Tantus. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, man, that was a fantastic episode. I really liked um, the little action sequence that we got with the turbo tank and, like, the LAATs and it was very getting another Indiana look at Jones. an imperial, imperial prison. Yeah. It was very old school George Lucas. It was very, yeah, no, I, I liked it a lot. Totally. It was definitely something that felt still very cohesive to the main story. And now we have, like, I don't know, a, a better idea of Tantus wise. If I could have Rampart out of all random people, of whom, like, you know, is not Crosshair's favorite person because he's responsible for the death of Mayday. So, yeah. Which therefore makes him no one in the Batch's favorite person. I mean, to them, he's the one that took Crosshair from them, you know? It's true. It's like everyone's got a reason to hate that dude, including us, the audience. (laughs) But yeah, man, I really liked that we got to see another Imperial prison and the way they made it very similar to, like, the Wobani work camp that we saw in Rogue One, but, like, still a little bit different from it, too. Um, Yeah, this was just a fun one. And now we're getting more and more of the pieces of the puzzle. We know that Omega combined with these M count, like high M count children, like Hemlock thinks that this is everything that he needs and keep it, storing them all in one place is like the most convenient way to do it. He's a fool, man. Omega's going to make these children rise up, yeah. especially if they can convince Emery to help them. Like there's, that's the first mistake that he's made, honestly, in the whole show. It is most right certainly there. asking for a rebellion to happen. When you have this many yeah no she's gonna like she's gonna use the goddamn power of friendship to get them all to like escape from this place or at the very least take control of like a small portion of it and then when the bad bats show up imperial resources will already be diverted to dealing with whatever mess omega has made they won't be able to repel them and they'll be able to get in it's gonna be like a like a serendipitous two-pronged attack oh yeah no. neither prong knew about the other one at the time like it's that's what i'm thinking hell yeah man this one this one was fun I really needed that. I really needed one that was like exciting and upbeat and a little yes. bit more uplifting after last week's just like double gut punch, man. <laughs> I mean, even now oh, we got rough. we got to see. It's like they they didn't let us forget that there's children in prison. They showed us they showed us the child prison again. But yeah. I am I'm so like confident in in Omega's abilities and how capable she's become that like. I am l- so much less worried for those children now that Omega's there. You, if, if that makes That's sense. True. That's a good point. That's a good way. They to were they were stuck in this in this horrible cold imperial lab. It's hidden in a mountain with nothing but Republic commandos and fucking fence sitting Emery Carr over here as like their only lifeline. Like, and, like the only toys, place. Now that Omega and the toys you there, get, it's you like know she's gonna watch office. out for them. And the only toys they have are the ones that are like you know at the dentist's office, the broken Tetris. And, like, the Rubik's Cube that only has, like, four of the five colors. And, yeah, and, like, the little dumpster Lula that... It, it did that look Eva like the one, uh, the one green child that did try to escape last time. He he was out of Jax, solitary right? confinement. Jax, right? Jax? Yeah. Because he was, he, was, he was there with the other two, so... Yeah, that means that means that this is at least two days later. We don't know. I mean, like, they kind of skip over that all the time, especially in Star Wars animation. But hyperspace takes a while. It usually takes like a couple hours to maybe a full day to get from one side of the galaxy to the other. Like it's, it's not instantaneous. And so, yeah, like that's, that's, a, that's a nice way to let us know that like, yeah, it took them several days to travel to Tantus in hyperspace. And in that time, the Mirelli, the Mirelli Allen kid finished his like, it was like 48 hours of solitary. Something like that's that. That's fucked up, man. Putting a child in solitary, like. I, I, it's gonna make me upset all over again. We already, <laughs> we already talked about this in that episode. I don't want to, I don't want to relive it, man. I'm still pissed. Yeah, the only other thing that I'll say is that I really hope that this isn't the beginning of any sort of a redemption arc for Rampart. Don't want it. I'm not interested. Yeah, we don't. The yeah. man's a bastard, and he needs to go down for his crimes. Again, like clearly he already has. He had his public falling from grace, and now he's in like a prison. But he hasn't suffered enough, if you ask me. Exactly. Not after everything that happened, like. Just think about Ryloth, man. Gah. 
Got four more episodes. Hell yeah. Well, um, this has been a fun one. I am still nervous to see how this whole thing shakes out. We've only got a couple episodes left, uh, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our reaction to The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 12. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. This reaction has been edited by Nerd Chronic to comply with fair use, which means you're not getting our full reactions. If you want to check out the full-length uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.